the magnificent Cascais on Portugal's Estoril coastline hosted the 23rd annual World Corporate Golf Challenge, an event that unites business leaders from across the globe. 32 teams representing the 53 license holders, a new record for the tournament, descended on Oitavos Dunes, the venue for the two-day Stablefoot event. I know that's the, one of the best tournaments in the world and I, I'm very proud to be part of this family and they help us very much to get this great event in Portugal, so we are very proud of that. This began 23 years ago in the UK in, in association with the Times newspaper, 1993. We are very excited with this year edition because um, it's the first time that we have uh, more than 30 teams participating, 30 countries. The place is absolutely wonderful. Cascais is a great destination in terms of you know, beauty, the landscape, the beaches, the, the golf course is amazing. Any company can, can, uh, can enter the World Corporate Golf, Ch golf Challenge, big or, or small, uh, which makes it a unique, uh, a unique event. And This year, again, we have five ambassadors, which we've never had before. We have Simon Holmes uh, checking on people's swings every, every day. Uh, Tony Jacklin came in last night. Uh, Ronnie Rafferty and Manuel Pinero are the captains for the Corporate Cup team. We've never had so many ambassadors. I think this is a, a wonderful idea. Um, business and golf and uh, uh, World Corporate Challenge is doing a wonderful job uh, over the years. That's why they are so successful. You have a golf competition, so everybody likes to compete. So you kind of have that as a thread which everybody gets, but then being able to create a global network these guys are meeting each other, they are discussing business non-stop, exchange of cards is like, a, it's like poker at the table. And so I would say that the business thread and the networking, the face-to-face -face networking is really, really unique. You know, when you're back in New Zealand, you're a long way from the rest of the world and you know, we're meeting people from Russia and Slovenia and Turkey and yeah. Nigeria and it's just yeah. it's bizarre, really. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we, uh, we had our first leg in, uh, in Angola last year. Uh, we had a chance um, that uh, the Portuguese went there and did the tournament, so it's the first time I knew about it, yeah. but we never had a chance to play it in Angola, so it's fantastic. Well, well, it's unique because A, they have to qualify, they have to come here, they have to go through the whole sort of process of what we had to do, you know, play practice rounds, hit balls, come to the tee early, go and putt before, you know, there's no rushing onto the tee and get, they're all in the gear, they're all feeling apart, and they're feeling a part, I think, of a of a community. You know, th this is a really nice social uh, event. Right. Everyone's asking me, what's it like in the Ryder Cup? Well, this is their Ryder Cup. No visit to Cascais would be complete without a trip to the largest casino in Europe, the Casino Estoril. It's linked to Ian Fleming in his James Bond novels, but another Englishman was telling the stories for the evening. The name's Jacqueline, Tony Jacqueline. A lot of people weren't around when, when I started out and weren't obviously aware maybe of some of my uh, achievements and, and, in the golfing world, especially Ryder Cup stories, everybody seems to be uh, besotted with, uh, with Ryder Cup and uh, that sort of thing. So it's nice to be able to basically reminisce and just tell the audience, uh, and they're obviously an audience from all over the world, how it was. So back to the action and the 6,900 yard par 71 Oitevos Dunes course proved a stern test. A gutsy effort from the host nation of Portugal had them finishing with an impressive 121 points, seven off the runaway leaders, India. Sonam Chu and Shashindar Reddy led from post to wire to claim India's second WCGC title. Brent O'Neill and Alan Barham rounded off the top three with 118 points, Wales' best ever finish at this tournament. We qualified from the Bangalore leg and the national finals were held in Malaysia in the month of May. So we won there and we came here. We we're very happy about it, just, just excited and I don't know, no, just speechless actually. 